Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. Today we're unlocking 10 advanced features on your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that you probably didn't even know existed. From boosting performance to customizing your control to signing PDFs right from your phone. So this video has something for everyone. So if you're loving these Samsung tips, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel and drop a comment with your favorite feature. It helps the channel grow and keeps the content like this coming your way. Feature number one is where you can move the quick panel to the left side of the screen. So if you're seeing that your quick panel is on the right hand side, however, you want to move it to your left side where your notification panel is, then let me show you how to do this. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can now reposition the quick settings panel to open from the left side instead of the default right side. So this is perfect for left-handed users or anyone who wants quicker access with the dominant hand, especially on a large screen. So let me show you how to do this. So first you want to go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, then tap on the pencil icon. Next you want to tap on panel settings and then go ahead and tap find quick panel on the left hand side. Turn this feature on and then press home. Now when you go ahead and swipe down from the right hand side, this will become your notification panel. If you swipe from the left hand side, this is your quick panel menu. Feature number two is where you can optimize your phone for a specific game. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use the Game Booster, which you can optimize performance settings like frame rate, touch response, and the resolution for individual games. So first you wanna go ahead and bring down the notification bar and then tap on settings. Next, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced features. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down all the way and find Game Booster settings. Now here, you wanna go ahead and find customization for individual games. So here you can go ahead and find what game you want to customize. So let's just say, for example, Downhill Race League. And now here you can go ahead and customize it for game optimization, FPS, screen resolution, or the frame booster. Go ahead and choose it and then choose your customization. So by ticking on each of these settings, you can go ahead and choose for game optimization, you can choose performance, balance, or battery saver. For FPS, you can go ahead and choose different FPS. You can go ahead and choose the screen resolution as well, and you can even choose the frame booster. Now, once that's done, press save, and now that customization has been applied to downhill race league game only. So this way you basically get smoother gameplay, better battery control, and lower lag when playing your favorite titles. Feature number three is where you can auto-optimize your Samsung S25 Ultra for better performance. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can enable auto optimization in the device care to automatically close background apps, clear memory and run periodic cleanups or maybe restarts. So let me show you how to do this. So first you wanna go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, then tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find device care. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find auto optimization, tap on this. So as it reads, the device care automatically performs optimization to keep your phone running smoothly. So this includes closing background apps and cleaning memory. So as you can see, it was last auto cleaning the memory nine hours ago, and you can also set an auto restart. So go ahead and tap on this. And here you can go ahead and set when a restart is needed, or you can set a restart on schedule. So the benefit of this is that your phone stays fast, smooth, and battery efficient without you lifting a finger. Feature number four is where you can activate the hidden precision cursor control. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, when you write something and you want to maybe edit something in between of your text, then let me show you how to do this. So as an example here, if I want to edit all of these eights and I'll remove it, I need to go ahead and tap on them. Sometimes your finger is really fat and it doesn't really go to the right position. However, here you can basically activate the hidden precision cursor control. So you can basically long press the spacebar on your Samsung keyboard to activate a hidden cursor feature that lets you slide and move the text cursor precisely. So as an example here, we'll go ahead and long press on the spacebar. And when we do this, we can go ahead and move the cursor anywhere on that line. And you can basically precisely set your cursor wherever you want. Delete that, do that again, delete that. So the benefit of this is that it makes your editing text effortlessly especially in long messages or documents where tapping isn't accurate. Feature number five is where you can sign PDF files on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use the Samsung Notes or the PDF Viewer with the S Pen to draw your signature directly onto PDFs. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and open up the Notes app. 
Now here, we'll go ahead and tap on this PDF icon here. So here I've opened a PDF on my Samsung S25 Ultra and using my S Pen, I can basically do signatures on it. So let me show you how to do this. So as a signature, let's say for example, if I need a signature here, I can go ahead and sign it. And now once I've signed it, I can go ahead and tap on the three dots at the top right. And then I can go ahead and tap on save as file. This will now ask me what you want to save it as. So I want to save it as a PDF file. So now I can go ahead and save this file anywhere I like with a new name and then tap on save. So the benefit of this is that you just have to skip the printer and you can sign documents digitally on the go. So making remote work and the contracts much easier using a Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number six is where you can see all the widgets related to a specific app. So your Samsung S25 Ultra has a feature where you can basically see widgets related to each specific app and you can basically access it and see what widgets to use from it. So when you long press any app icon, you can tap widgets and you can instantly view all the available widgets for that app. So example, YouTube, we'll go ahead and long press on it. Then we'll go ahead and tap on widgets. And here we can go ahead and see all the widgets which are available for the YouTube app. So as you can see, there's two, two widgets. Let's say Google. Here there are five widgets. So you can do song search, routines. You can do at a glance or you can do a Google search, or you can do a finance watch list. Let's just say TikTok widgets. Here you can go ahead and see seven widgets. So you have a TikTok camera, TikTok, TikTok story, trending, search widget, TikTok story, and the live now. So by selecting any widgets, you can go ahead and paste it on your home screen. So let's say for example, this one here, add it. You can go ahead and tap on it as well. And you can customize it by tapping on settings. You can go ahead and choose all these different themes, transparency level. You can even add shortcuts on it. So it basically saves time by showing you all the widget option in one place. It's perfect for customizing your home screen using your Samsung S25 Ultra. Feature number seven is where you can organize your fingerprints by naming them. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, when you add fingerprints in your settings menu, you can basically give each one a custom name. So here, as you can see, it's currently named as fingerprint one, fingerprint two, fingerprint three. However, using this, you don't really know what fingerprints they are. However, in this video, I'll show you how to rename them on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So to do this, go ahead and first open up your settings, scroll down until you see lock screen and AOD, and then go ahead and tap on screen lock and biometrics. Go ahead and enter in your pin number, then tap on fingerprints. And now go ahead and find the fingerprints you want to rename. So for example, fingerprint one, tap on it, and then go ahead and give it a name. Second fingerprint, go ahead and give it a name and so on. So this basically easily manages and removes or update fingerprints, especially helpful if you have multiple people using your phone or if you have different fingers for different actions. Feature number eight is where you can set one tap optimization feature. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can place the optimized shortcut or widget from device care on your home screen for one tap performance boost. So let me show you how to do this. So here as an empty screen, we'll go ahead and long press. We'll tap on widgets. And here we'll go ahead and find the device care option. Now from here, you want to go ahead and find all these widgets. So here you can go ahead and add the two by one optimized feature or this one here or this one, or this one, any you like. I'll go ahead and choose a four by one. I'll add, and now this widget basically gives me information on my storage information and on my memory information. However, as I said, you can basically set a one tap optimization feature. So this is the one tap here. So whenever you feel that your phone is running slow or it's just lagging, you can come to this widget here and just go ahead and tap on optimize. This will now start to optimize your phone in the background. And as you can see, it has given me the message that your phone has been optimized. So this basically quickly frees up your RAM, closed background apps, and keeps your phone running smooth without diving into settings. Feature number nine is where you can pin apps to stay always open. On your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use a pin feature in your app switcher to keep the app open when you pass the phone on to someone else. So as an example here, if you're giving your phone to someone else and you want them to stay only on TikTok, then to do this, you can go ahead and pin that app. And once that app is pinned, it'll then stay 
on that screen until the person unlocks it using their fingerprints or a pin number. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the app where you want to pin. So for example, TikTok. Next, we'll go ahead and open up the app switcher, tap on TikTok and find this option called pin this app. Now this app is pinned. So to unpin it, you need to touch the recent and the back button at the same time. However, when you do this, you need to enter in your pin number or your fingerprints. So if anyone does that, he or she will not be able to go back to the home screen. He or she not will be not be able to use the back button or the app switcher. The only way to get rid of this app is by holding down the app switcher and the back button. This will go to your lock screen. Now that person has to enter in a pin number, show their face or show their fingerprints. Without that, this phone is locked for them. So they'll not be able to do anything apart from watch this lock screen. So this ensures the security of your phone as the phone is locked to one app on your Samsung S25 Ultra. And lastly, feature number 10 is where you can change the resolution to Quad HD+. So your Samsung S25 Ultra can support Quad HD resolution on the screen. So to do this, you want to go ahead and open up settings. Next, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find display. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see screen resolution. So currently it's set to FHD, which is full HD plus quality. However, you can go ahead and set on QHD. So this basically provides you the sharpest visual. However, the most batteries used in this setting, go ahead and press apply. So with this, you can experience super crisp visuals when watching movies, editing photos or gaming. So it's perfect for those who value screen quality. That's it for today's S25 Ultra deep dive. I hope you found at least one feature that will make your phone work even better for you. If this helped you, don't forget to like the video, subscribe and comment below which feature you're using first. Your support means everything and not many are subscribing yet and every bit helps the channel grow and reach more Samsung lovers like you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.